my friends. It's Sean from the blog she'sinnerelement.com. First off, I want to apologize about my voice and how I sound and how I look. I have pneumonia. My whole family has pneumonia. The grandbabies have pneumonia. Um, my husband has pneumonia. We've all just been so sick. And unfortunately, as the Nana, I got mine like five days behind everybody else. So I've been super sick. I've been really, really sick all weekend long. Um, and I had a video planned that I wanted to do for you, which is going to be coming up, but I just don't have the strength to stand in the kitchen and cook five recipes right now. So I'm gonna share that one later with you guys. I'm not even sure if I'm going to be able to get out my second video this week on Friday, but I am going to try. I do have a new blog post coming out um, tomorrow. We'll see if I can get one for Friday. This is really kicking my butt and I feel awful. But something happened this weekend that I want to share with you all. So a friend of mine's mom, um, she lost her husband and she was selling her homestead. And for the last two or three weeks, they've had yard sales. And for whatever reason, I've never been able to get there. Well, she tagged me in a post on Facebook saying, you know, you got to come because it's a free yard sale at this point. And I'm like, as in free 99 everything? And she's like, it's free. So I put my little mask on and I hopped in my truck and I took a very quick jaunt down to her um, Sunday morning. I wanted to see what she had. And I'm actually really glad I did because I got some wonderful things. And I did not feel right just leaving with all of this stuff. So I did make a donation to them. It still wasn't nearly enough, but it's a nice little donation for everything I got. And I want to share this all with you today. This was my first yard sale of the season. And I scored some really great crafting items that I will use later in my blog and on my channel and I will show you how I will use them. But I also got some amazing things for my home as well. So I wanna show them to you now. First off, we all know I have a huge, huge obsession with baskets. So I got this adorable basket I think I'm going to hang them off the beams in my great room, but I'm not completely positive. That's what I saw when I picked them all, but I might actually use them in my craft room to like hold some ribbons and some different tchotchkes and beads and trinkets and things like that. So first off, I got this gorgeous basket. Free. I also thought this one was super cute and sweet. I can see a uh, faux plant in this hanging from my beams. Maybe a nice Ikea plant. Lord knows I have enough to take some from somewhere in the house and put it in there and hang it up. But just another gorgeous, perfect basket. Free. And because I don't know how to say no <laughs> is a, another basket. I actually really like the shape of this, how it kind of scooped outward. Um, again, I think I'm just going to hang them on my beams. But for free, how do you say no? I know I can't. I really like this one. I think this one's super sweet. And somewhere in my second basement below my, my great room, my fireside room, I have a giant basket like this. So I was really excited to score this one as well. Um, free. Free. 
I love the shape of this. This I can absolutely see in my craft room with either the beads or the ribbon in it. This is not going on the bead. I love the detail of the handle. Look at how beautiful that is. I mean, this is, this is a gorgeous basket. Free. And because I have been talking with my grandchildren about picnics, we want to take some picnics this year. And I have a rolling, um, like a vinyl rolling picnic cooler, if you will, which I really like because you can roll it. But they had this giant lined picnic basket. I love the inside. Um, it's not dirty. I did use it to put some of my things in it so it needs to kind of be vacuumed but it's in super good condition it is a very large as you can see picnic basket and I can totally see me and the grandbabies going for some amazing picnics this summer I've already promised them we'll go down to the canal and I also promised them we'll go to the Heron Run at Oliver Mill Park which is a super fun place to go and have a picnic with the kids and bring a little bat and ball and let them wade in the water and it'll be very cold, but kids don't mind that. So free, like, how do you say no? <laughs> when I came home with all of these baskets, honestly, my husband was like, The fit. And, he, and he held it like that for a while. And he said, well, when we run out of wood this winter, we're just going to burn your baskets. <laughs> He's kidding, but no, you're not. Um, they also had this adorable sewing basket, which I absolutely love. I love the top, how it's cushioned. The basket is in pristine condition. And the only thing was it came filled with some Christmas cards, which this is fine. I will keep these Christmas cards and I'll use them for projects with the grandbabies. So those won't go to waste and neither will this adorable sewing basket. I remember my grandma had one similar to this and I am super excited that I now have my own. And it has some weight to it. This is not light. I mean, it's not incredibly heavy, but it has some weight to it. So I'm very excited to also get this in my craft room and just take a few of my sewing trinkets that I use all the time and put them in here. Now, I have an amazing sewing table that my mom gave me, which is a huge antique um, and I keep that in my hall, but I would like to keep that for the overflow of all of my threads and use this basket for like everyday purposes. So I've got this sewing basket filled with all kinds of Christmas cards for the grandbabies to have fun crafting with. I mean, free, you can't beat this. Now, you also know that I have an obsession with antique vanity mirrors that sit on your vanity. You saw one that I got before, and here is another one. And it has some gorgeous detail on it. I love it. I mean, obviously it needs to be clean, but how cute is that? It's a good size too. So I think I want this one for my bathroom. That's what I think I'm gonna do is put it in the bathroom. And I also grabbed, which I've washed, so that's why it's got a little bit of um, moisture in there, this super pretty decanter. I wanna put my mouthwash in this and literally set it on here with a couple other really cute, sweet things in my bathroom. And come on, what's prettier? A bottle of Listerine on your counter or a bottle of Listerine in a gorgeous glass decanter? I picked the decanter. 
So I'm actually really excited for that. And I think that's going to make a huge difference um, in my bathroom. I, I just, I like to change things up, make it more custom, make it more personal, give it a little extra flair. My kids say I'm just extra and I'll take that because I am just a little extra. So we got that. We also got, let me see right here. Oop, sorry, it was stuck together. It's like a little bag of grapes and berries. And these are awesome because I do use things like these in all different types of arrangements throughout the different seasons. So I'm excited to see what I will put these in. Also, there's some more, some more grapes, which is fabulous. And these things cost a few dollars even at Michael's. So scoring them for free was just the creme de la creme. Very happy about that. And they will get put to good use. Um, look, there's even, see? $1.97 is just on one of these grapes. And I have probably seven of them. So they will get used somewhere, somehow. Now, they also had this, like a random bag of fall. And I see some picks. It's got some leaf picks in there, which, I mean, these are pretty. I like them. Some that have some pumpkins and some gourds on them, some flowers, just some very random fall decorations. Picks of pumpkins. There's some more picks of little sunflowers, if you will, which I love. And then it also has bags of little pumpkins in them. And these are $2.99 or 99 cents at Cost Plus. I don't know what Cost Plus is. It must be a store. But they're sweet and they're cute and I figure they can totally be used in some type of a craft for sure. And they will. These will get used in the fall somewhere, somehow. Maybe a basket. You never know. So, very happy with that. And then I also grabbed a bag of silk roses, which I'm not really big on the silk roses. I prefer real. But these... are on like little chains. So I will definitely find a spot for these two. Totally adorable. And then it also came with two random picks of red roses and some little white flowers. And again, I will find a spot. Maybe I will separate them all and put them in a basket. Some greens coming out of them. Possibilities are endless. I love crafting and with items such like these, I can make just about anything because I have crafts of my own I can add all of these to and come up with something really fabulous. So again, very excited. And like everything else I've shown you, free. Now, I was very, very excited for this one. It's an entire bag of embroidery hoops, all different sizes. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 embroidery hoops, including some fancy ones, some metal ones, and then the traditional wooden ones. Now, I really like these um, because I like to make wall hangings out of them by putting different fabrics in them and making a grouping of different sizes. And I also love to make wreaths out of these for all different seasons. And that will be an upcoming blog and an upcoming video showing you how I do that with these. But again, free. How do you not take it? 
like I would be foolish. If I don't take it, somebody else is going to. Now, here's the big bag of mess. We just kept shoving stuff in this giant bag. Now, I am not going to take every single item out of here, but this is an entire bag of florals. There are some really pretty florals in here. There's some really pretty greens in here, all different types of flowers, different colors blue roses, we have lilies, carnations. I mean, it's literally filled with all different floral picks. And floral picks are very expensive, as you know. Doesn't matter what the quality is, they're at least a dollar. You, Depending on where you go, you're not going to find them for less than a dollar. Just curious what this one is. Just some wild, cool things. And I am super excited because I will absolutely use these florals in something. And in fact, they will be used in a lot of somethings. And I am very blessed and grateful to get this whole bag. Again, free. Now, we also have another bag of florals again there are some really pretty ones in here i really like these i have a basket that i like to change out so it looks like fresh picked flowers all the time and i am fairly confident that i can use a lot of these in that basket throughout the year and i am very excited for this as well so, again, we'll add that to the other florals. This one is a little hurt, but I feel like I can bring it to life. I really liked the daintiness of the flowers, and I feel like just a little bending and twisting and moving, and we'll take the little birds out of there that it came with because they're looking a little rough. But I can use this, whether I use it as a whole or as a piece will be a whole different story. But again, when I use it, I'm gonna bring you along to show you what I did with it. Um, this is mostly crafting supplies, so it's not like I can show you how I'm going to use them right now. When I'm done with this video, I'm going back on the couch to die. <laughs> but that's a lot of florals. And my daughter thinks I'm insane because one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. So she had six rolling pins that I had to grab. And I think she was gonna do a craft project with them because these six have string on them, which I absolutely can remove. And even if I just use them to decorate with in a, a big old crock or something, that's totally perfect. It goes with the collected feel of my home. And I would truly love to have more of these in another giant crock. I keep them in a crock now, my antique ones, but here's a whole bunch more and <laughs> my husband says what is wrong with you three more unopened rolling pins now even if I don't use them all these can make really nice gifts for somebody you could take a rolling pin and get a package of cookie mix and a couple cute cookie cutters put them in an adorable bag and give them as a gift to someone which I love I love putting handmade gifts together to give to my friends. Even these with the string on them could be turned into some type of a gift with other things on there. I would have to think about it. Nothing's coming to my mind right now, but I'm kind of in a dayquil haze, so you never know. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rolling pins. And I am stoked. My husband thinks I'm nuts. 
I'm excited. <laughs> And then I just got this cute little um, grapevine wreath. Um, I like to put these around candles and stuff and you can put lights on them. You could add flowers. You could do so much to these to personalize them. So I thought this was adorable as well. So I grabbed that. I really loved this old antique paper box for my desk. Um, it has the felt on the bottom. And what's super special about this, I feel, is the home I was at, um, he was a sergeant in our police force for a very, very long time. And he passed away, unfortunately. And I guess this was on his desk. So it's kind of very special that it's now going to be on my desk. And instead of holding arrest reports or things of that nature, it will hold all of my blog and my channel paperwork and ideas. And I am very excited because I actually think it's actually beautiful. And it's perfect for she's in her element. It's going to look great on my desk. Now I had to stand up to show you this one because I'm really excited about this. But I got a gorgeous handmade quilt. Um, it's a queen size quilt, really beautiful. The detail on it is amazing. And it also came with um, two handmade pillow shams to match it so free this is gonna look so sweet on my granddaughter's bed here and i'm really excited for that because you'll pay about twenty dollars for these in an antique shop and i paid zero free 99 and that is my free 99 yard sale haul. How do you say no? I mean, my husband thinks I've lost my mind, but I couldn't say no. And as you can see, like they tried selling all of this stuff. And like I said, this was the second or the third week they were doing it. And at this point it was all free. And then I had entered a um, raffle at the church so for a dollar, I put my ticket in. I wanted these nesting baskets. And by golly, I won them for one dollar. I think they are absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to find a home for them. But yeah, I won it. One dollar at the local church bazaar. How cool is that? So again, I just wanna apologize for how I look and how I sound. I just am not <laughs> feeling good at all. This is really kicking my butt. And like I said, I am about four days behind everybody else. So they're all getting better and I am really, really sick. But. I wanted to share this with you guys. It's just a quick little something. Always stop at those garage sales. Usually they always have a basket or a bucket of items that are just free. If you see one of those, dig through it. You never know what you're going to find in it. I just lucked out by waiting and they were at the point where they just want it all gone. And there's still more. If I felt better, I could get back in my truck. I could drive to my girlfriend's house where it's all outside before the rain comes and fill up with more grapevine wreaths and grapevine things. And I, I don't even know, I'm just saying that. I mean, there is more though. But I thought this was good enough for now. And I gave them 20 bucks. I definitely made out picnic basket alone. I mean, even these hoops, the smallest one of them is about $2.99 at Joann's. So I'm totally ahead of the game. 
always stop at a yard sale or a garage sale if you're passing it. You never know what hidden gems they have waiting for you to discover them. One woman's trash is another woman's treasure. And if you're thrifty and crafty like me, you'll put all of this to good use. Well, thank you so much for tuning in to this quick little video. Again, I'm gonna try to get my regular content out. I have an amazing video I want to do for you all. I'm just trying to get myself well enough to where I can stand in the kitchen and show you five amazing summertime recipes. So bear with me, I will try my best. <laughs> if you are new to my channel, you might wanna consider hitting that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week and it can be on anything from recipes, scratch cooking, or creating a handmade home one day at a time. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all stay safe and not sick because from what I'm understanding, a lot of people have this right now. So I'm gonna go lay down. I'll see you guys soon.